I can't. If for some reason that's not for me, the actress life, I just want to be happy with my loved ones and my family. Because that, at the end of the day, is really truly all that matters. Even if you do have the fame and the money success, it's your family at the end of the day that you've got. So, I guess no, that's, that's life goals right there. Um, what's your biggest fear? Spiders. All damn day. Spiders. Fuck them. Okay, where do you like to eat? That's also a twofold question. If I've got money to blow, Red Lobster. If I don't, Applebee's or McAllister's. I'm a broke ass bitch, bitch. I, um, where would you love to live? Los Angeles, California, United States of America, planet Earth. Right there. Uh, yes. <laughs> I've been to LA. I haven't been there a lot, but I stayed there for about five days and learned the city and fell in love with it and decided then that that's where I wanted to live and that's where I've wanted to live ever since. And I hope one day I can make it happen. It may not be this year, it may not be this decade, but one day it's going to happen. I've got time. Um, do you still talk to people from high school? Oh, very rarely. Um, my used to be closest best friend. Uh, we've drifted recently, but she still is my best friend. She always will be. Uh, we met in high school, but that's really about it. Honestly, you make friends in high school and they may seem like your true besties, but the important ones will stick around and you may drift from some and that doesn't mean that they're bad people or that you, you know, you did anything wrong or they did anything wrong. It's just, it's just life and it's awkward. And I have friends out there that I used to be super close with and now I don't even know what's going on in their lives. And I'm sorry to those people. And I love you and I miss you. And just know that it, none of it's personal. It's just life changes so fast. And before you know it, you're living in Tatum, working at a cafe, living with the love of your life and trying to hide from a demon cat 24-7. You know, it's... <laughs> um, but yeah, damn. No, I don't talk to a lot of people from high school. <laughs> oh my god, there's only three questions left. And if you've made it this far, you're a fucking saint and I love you. Hit the like button. Okay. Do you have animals? No. I don't. This is an alien. She really is a freaking demon. But yes, I have animals. <laughs> she literally, like, I try to hold her and love on her and she whines and she puts her feet on my face and she tries to get away from me. And it's just very, very love-hate relationship. But she is really sweet. She'll let me scratch her chin and she'll purr and stuff, but she just doesn't want to be held. <laughs> But yes, I do have animals. That demon is one of them. Um, Bella is another one. She is a one and a half year old Boston Terrier. And yes, I realize she has the most common dog name ever. Um, I don't care. It fits her. And 97% of the time, we don't even call her Bella. We call her Bellbar or Belby or Baby Bella Cheese or Cheese or... Uh, Bella Boo or just everything like she very rarely do we say Bella she's just our little belly bar belly bar that's one uh yeah and then okay so I have Bella and then the demon that you saw that left scratches on my shoulder that are currently stinging but I'm gonna move past it uh her name is Chewy as in Chewbacca when she was found uh she was literally like maybe a week or two old and the people that rescued her found her uh, like in their shed or something and the mama cat was gone so they took all the kittens and bottle fed them until they got to be about three to four to five weeks old and started eating like soft cat food and they brought them up to the pet store where I worked I'm not gonna say which one but they brought them up there and was like we need homes for these cats and I saw the little fluffy demon oh there she is 
saw her and was like, oh, yes, you're cute and adorable. Let's take you. And here we are like a year or so later and she constantly tries to steal my soul and, you know, kill small children. I'm just kidding. But she is really fucking evil. Like for as cute and fluffy she, as she is, like she's mean. <laughs> so just beware. Okay. Next question. Do you have kids? No. Not biologically. And technically still no. My boyfriend, who I've been with for over a year now, has three children. I've never met them though. And some people that I work with and friends tell me that it, it's weird that I haven't met them yet, but I think that everyone's life and circumstances are different and we have a kind of complicated situation. Uh, you know, me and my boyfriend live with my mother because his house was crushed, crushed by a tree, you know. NBD, no big deal. Look on past videos and you can hear about it. Um, but, you know, he doesn't have a place that he of his own that he can bring the kids to on regular visitations. So, we don't get to... I haven't met them yet, but I'm going to meet them very soon. And one day, eventually, hopefully, if me and this boyfriend last and we marry each other, which we already know that we will, but they will be my stepchildren, uh, so I don't have kids yet, but I have future stepchildren, and I want to have kids. <laughs> I, you know, never thought I wanted kids, whole life, never thought I was going to be a mother. I was going to be the cool ass aunt to my sister's kids, who she doesn't have any either, but hey, that's cool. We all in due time, I don't have any either. Um, but when I found the person I was supposed to be with, it changed everything. And I knew that, like, I needed to see what a kid would be like that was half me and half him. And it would be, like, a special, special thing. So, I hope to have kids in the future, but I know it's not the right time as of now. But one day, yes. Okay, and the last question is, what is your film equipment? Well, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm filming on my iPhone, which used to be a 6, and now I have a 7 plus, you know, humble brag. <laughs> my grandmother bought it for me, thanks grandma. <laughs> I usually film on that, but I do have a little, um, fuck, Nikon? Little, uh, Canon? I wow, this is embarrassing. I have a little camera that I have filmed some of my videos on. I wish I had it with me, but it's back there where other people are sleeping, so I'm not gonna go get it right now. But yes, I usually film on my camera, or my phone, and I do most of my editing on my phone. And that's why, honestly, my videos aren't as stellar as they could be. I need a freaking MacBook. Hey, anyone out there, give me a MacBook. I'm just kidding. But yeah, my film equipment is my iPhone 7 Plus with a ring light that I bought from Wish. Uh, I like it, it's pretty cool. And oh my God, that's it, that's all the freaking questions. We did it, we made it to the end. That felt like it took so long. If you're actually still here watching, 